Hello, NFL Central friends and family. Welcome to the 2020 Fall and Winter Safety Presentation. As we continue into the holiday season, we would like to share with you some of the top safety concerns. So let's get started. Not to start off on such a somber note, but the facts are real. These 35 sailors and Marines all died between Labor Day 2019 and New Year's Day 2020. These shipmates were all sitting through their fall winter safety presentations last year. How many knew their fates? So listen up, this is as real as it gets. In a five year time period, their Department of the Navy recorded 23 pedestrian bicycle fatalities with 138 motor vehicle fatalities and 141 motorcycle fatalities. So how does this break down? Are we getting better or worse? Total traffic and off-duty recreational fatalities for calendar year 2019 was 7% lower than the previous five-year average, while automobile and pedestrian fatalities rate increased. Pedestrian fatalities were 30% higher than the five-year average and was 100% higher than the previous year. In the next slides, we will discuss some of the contributing factors of fatalities and mishaps that affect the Navy personnel. In 2018, there were over 2,800 people killed and an additional 400,000 people injured in motor vehicle crashes involving distracted drivers. 5% of all drivers involved in fatal crashes were reported as distracted at the time of the crash. 8% of drivers 15 to 19 years old involved in fatal crashes were reported as distracted. This age group has the largest proportion of drivers who were distracted at the time of fatal crashes. We all spend some time in our cars. If you eat, drink, talk on the phone, or even text, these unsafe acts divert your attention away from the task of safe driving. Did you know traveling at 55 miles per hour, reading or sending a text is like driving the length of a football field with your eyes closed? To prevent tragedies due to distracted driving, motors are urged to turn off electronic devices and put them out of reach before starting to drive. Be a good role model for young drivers and set a good example. Talk to your teens about responsible driving. Speak up when you're a passenger and your driver uses an electronic device while driving. Offer to make the call for the driver so his or her full attention stays on the task of driving. And of course, always wear your seatbelt. Seatbelts are the best defense against unsafe drivers. Despite the fact that it is illegal to drive drunk, one person was killed every 50 minutes in a drunk driving crash on our nation's roads in 2018. That's a total of 10,511 people who died in alcohol impaired driving crashes in one year. Alcohol is a substance that reduces the function of the brain, impairing thinking, reasoning, and mo muscle coordination. All these abilities are essential to operating a vehicle safely. At point zero two, some loss of judgment from drinking alcohol. At point zero five, exaggerated behavior. At point zero eight, muscle coordination becomes poor. Speech, vision, reaction time, and hearing are also affected. As alcohol levels rise in a person's system, the negative effects on the central nervous system increase also. At point one zero, clear deterioration of reaction time and control, slurred speech, poor coordination, and slow thinking, reduce ability to maintain lane position and break appropriately. At point one five, far less muscle control than usual. No matter how much a person drinks or how it appears they can hold their liquor, no one should drive after drinking because they put others at risk every time they get into the car. 
If you don't drink and drive, you just might save a life. Despite all the common myths for how to sober up, the only true one is time. Plan ahead before everyone starts drinking. Don't wait until alcohol consumption has begun and rely on who is the least drunk or who has had the fewest drink. Remember, the designated driver has a responsibility to stay so sober all night. Once everyone starts drinking, it is harder to make good decisions. Consider a ride sharing app like Uber or Lyft as your designated driver. Another factor in roadway fatalities is driver fatigue. A National Sleep Foundation poll says 60% of adults have driven while they were tired and another 37% or 103 million people have fallen asleep at the wheel. With fatigue driving, the reasons are many. Shift work, lack of quality of sleep, long work hours, sleep disorders, and it doesn't only apply to lengthy trips. Most crashes or near misses happen at the times you would expect drivers to be tired. 4 to 6 a.m., midnight to 2 p.m., 2 a.m., and 2 to 4 p.m. So be sure to get seven or more hours of sleep at night. Don't drive if you've been awake for more than 16 hours or more. Stop every two hours to rest. Pull over and take a nap if you're drowsy. Travel during times you're typically awake. Tips for holiday travel. Ensure your vehicle is properly maintained. If maintenance is not up to date, have your car and tires inspected before you take a long trip. Map it route in advance. You don't want to be fiddling around with your navigation system. Keep anything of value in the trunk and out of sight. Have roadside assistance contact information on hand. In case of emergency, keep a cell phone and charger with you at all times. Start every trip rail rested. Drive during daylight hours. Schedule breaks every two hours. Never drink and drive. Never. Pull over if you get tired. Every vehicle should have an emergency supply kit located in the trunk. Kits should be checked every six months and expired items should be replaced to keep it up to date. It is also a good idea to keep family and emergency phone numbers, including your auto insurance provider and a towing company in your phone. Here in the Imperial Valley, we enjoy throughout the summer, extremely great weather. And as the local saying goes, it's a dry heat. But remember, in the winter months, the IA overpass to San Diego Road elevation is at or about 3,000 feet, so it does get snow. Be sure to check with Caltrans or the Highway Patrol if you suspect inclement weather in the winter months. If you want more safety-related information, please visit www.navalsafetycenter.navy.mil or contact the safety office. Have a great and safe holiday season.